Colonel, Metal Gear's already gone active. No, it's, it's not. not too late. You can still prevent a nuclear strike by securing the president and preventing password confirmation from taking place. Get to the president. He's in the core section of Shell 2. I'm checking the satellite images. Looks like you can get to the core from the other side of Strut L. The core hasn't gone under yet from what we can tell. Follow the railings down, then jump onto the pipes. The only viable strut in no, the outer man. perimeter no, is the L. Uh, that attack just now doesn't make any sense. It's like they have no more use for this place. Colonel, you were monitoring the codec calls. That man was the real snake all along. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Don't let your guard down with them. <laughs> Why do you say that? Because they were never a part of the simulation. They're an unknown factor. That simulation. You can take your simulation and... We're out here. We bleed. We die. Calm down. I suggest that you do, Raiden. Even if that is Snake, that has no bearing on your mission. Colonel, you and Snake used to be on the same side. I don't understand. I read about you and Snake in In the Darkness of Shadow Moses. I don't give a damn what that piece of trash said. Do you get me? <laughs> boy. Boy, howdy do. Who boy. Do do? Uh, I'm gonna try this one time. What? <laughs> okay. Is it possible? Yeah, you can. Oh wow. Do, 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 no, do, do. This isn't happening. Shut Jack, up. you have to answer me. Jack! Jack! I'm gonna try it one more time. Vanish point W256. Because I wanna be epic. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Speed run! <laughs> Epic. <laughs> that thing's falling apart. Oh, I thought they like went back together like they were trapdoors. <laughs> this is not a pretty sight. What was that just now? This is not a pretty sight. Yes, I have. Hurry up and check the situation. If only you could hang and shoot. That feeling. Grip level one. Oh, they're like. Yeah, here they are. Seeing the beast on the first oh. layout. Trevor and Sergeant Karen. Uh oh. Nice. <laughs> Dude. Nice. No. No. Jack, please answer me. Shut Jack! Who's this? Jack. I got I got the jump that's all I care about. If you do that fast enough, you can get them out there without them hitting the same button. Whatever. Oh, oh, I have to check this window. Now I have to check this window. Okay. What? Clearly can't do anything about it. Where's the next one? Literal infinite spawn of these. They go in. Oh my god. What the oh. crap? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Throw a chat. What was that just now? Uh oh. That's easy.
crash and... business with him. Take out that circuit panel from inside the room. <laughs> and it's no job for bare hands. All right. Come back immediately. One more thing. What? We leave for Russia when this business is done. I want half the money for that. Of course. That was part of the agreement. Ho, 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 ho. We start living for ourselves after this. If there's anyone who wants to stay here, I want you to take good care of them. Gladly. It's time they went free. What happened to rebuilding Mother Russia? The old man is dead. The world is a different place now. Frank. It's your life. Mother Just Russia. as a reminder, I'm going to say this again. One last time. Don't try anything on us. The feeling is mutual. Okay. That's Brandon. The feels are mutual. I'm in front of the room where they're keeping the president. Everything all right? No sign of flooding, but I can't get close to the door. The floor is electrified. Don't test it. You'll be bacon. Any mm. suggestions? Yeah, Remember I the Shadow Wizards VR training. Take out the circuit panel? Right. But there's no way into the room. Try ventilation ducts. <sighs> yeah, I think I see one. Look for a remote control missile launcher. You can guide it through the duct into the room. Then target the circuit panel. Got it. Right. But make sure you don't hit the president. Trevor, you know what you need to the do. President hit the president is nano machines. Exactly. If we know the frequency, I can raise him. We've tried that repeatedly, but there's no response. It looks like the walls have a built-in radio shield. So that's why Ames lost contact with him. If you need to confirm his position, you can log into the node. Understood. 
Locate the remote control ah, that first. Oh, remote control. Dude, isn't it really, isn't it really convenient that that is the case? Gotta get the node. I don't remember where the node is. Prez. Actually, I don't think any people are here. Prez. If I was a president, I'd be like, yeah, man, call me Prez. Oh! oh. Yeah, there's been literally no one here. Hello, hello, mate. I mean, it's not the worst of it, but it is a part of it. Uh, I'm well, excited. Well, I understand in a minute, because I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> I hate swimming. Oh. Yeah, swimming is kind of rough in this game. <laughs> There's how you swim. Good time for a call. B1 is completely flooded. How is he see. talking? You'll have to swim through. Narrow machine sound. Uh, swimming isn't my strong point. It wasn't a part of the VR training either. Stroke the water and move forward by pushing the punch button. Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your shape sure. with the left stick. Up will take you up. Down takes you lower. Left and right. Face those directions. The O2 gauge will appear under your life gauge while you're underwater. The gauge corresponds to the amount of air you can hold from a single deep breath. And it wasn't Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, lips. the life oh, gauge will start to drop. You need to be aware of that. Swimming! Uh, okay. Right first word. Straight. Because this place is kind of a maze, so I, I wrote everything down before here. Hey, Trev, answer that call. Oh, nice. I'm gonna die. Where's the air? <laughs> is that it? making this look a lot harder, but the controls are really weird. You're making it look a lot easier than what it probably is. Uh, what? Okay. If there was a shark in there, it would've got you. Because you were bleeding everywhere, son. That's what I do. I just keep pressing it, I'm like, come on, man. Can't wait five seconds for this elevator. I got places to be. Alright, first one done out of six. Oh. What do you mean out of six? I have to do swimmy things six times. Oh. Son. Ain't no big deal. Ain't no thing about chicken wire. Huh? That's right. Let's just have the rocket launcher thing. If you do it on the first try, you get a uh, hundred dollars from Brandon. Um, what is it? It's there's an explosion. Don't worry. If you do it the second time, you get fifty dollars from Brandon. Okay. I only remember which way it is. Left, left. Oh, I guess right. What are you doing? Dude, Ooh, get out of the way. That was. $50, please. $50. Wait, what? You owe Trevor $50. Why? Because I did it on the second try. Uh, oh, but I thought you oh, yeah. 
you just use that all the time? It's called your mom. If I remember correctly, this is the longest cutscene. It is. <laughs> it's so long. It might be a half hour cutscene. President Johnson. Really? So you're finally no, here. Wait for the ending. Been expecting me? They kind of just explain a lot. Your of equipment, things. that skull suit, isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you all right, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. What? I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you? Hmm. What the? You're a man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, who are you? <laughs> Foxhound, sir. Foxhound? Good I see. Well, now things are starting to make a little sense. Nope, they are. <laughs> You're a man. That's what people say of Brandon. Switch right. over to nano communication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Uh, yes. Mr. President, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. Oh. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now, they're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. But you're the president. You have power. No, I'm just a figurehead. Huh? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. Who are the, the Patriots? Patriots? The truth behind this country. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Politics. Huh? The military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the Patriots rule this country. No. <laughs> Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. No. The space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Oh! Space defense was initiated by Congress. That's what the Patriots want the country to believe. It's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. This country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. <gasps> Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. More cuts. I'm scared. Uh, the Patriots. Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? No one knows who the Patriots really are. Okay. Even my instructions come from a cutout. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men, known as the Wise Men's Committee. Your office? The White House? Merely puppets. Pawns in a game. <laughs> by pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the like presidency. Of should be one of those pictures. Mm -hmm. Of course, that wasn't the only Dude, price I had to pay. What do you mean? Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a playing piece. Spencer, I see him. I Can wanted to even? leave my own no. mark in history, MGS3. but my ambitions were. Which You'll one? Understand someday. Bottom left. Oh yeah. Wink. I don't. Do I that. wish to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. And that That's the one you'll never be in the Patriots. Yes. I'd intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But I underestimated some of this. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots, even if it means the destruction of the world. What are you saying? Whether you believe it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. 
They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation, staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. Can you imagine what would happen if they ceased to function? Can you? I can't. Picture a massive political vacuum. A space that every power monger will try to fill for their own greedy ends. And talking about an unregulated power struggle. Panic. Civil war. Chaos. Like it or not, oh God, the that Patriots destruction. is an organization that must continue to exist. So you changed your mind because you wanted to avoid global chaos. Exactly. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. And who is this Solidus? My predecessor, George Sears. That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid. Wait, the survivor Sears, of the, that the president from the first Terry one? Project. Neither Solid nor the previous Liquid. president. He yeah. was a well-balanced masterpiece that the Patriots saw fit to entrust with the Dang, presidents. I'm learning so much more than the first However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. Four years ago? Shadow Moses! That's right. At the time, the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development of Metal Gear Rex and an advanced nuclear warhead. However, this did not fall in line with the Patriots' plans. What's more, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Asala, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the data on the warhead. But in doing so, he ended up revealing the existence of both Rex and the Genome Army, a blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed from the presidential office. 